I want to talk about going an extra mile for your clients. What do I mean going a little extra mile? Let's say you have a two color print, white and red, and you know you got to put the under base. And what you do with the under base is that you do it again, and here comes the white, and then you print the red on top of it, showing some of the white of the image. Going an extra mile is doing that third screen, meaning that highlight white will make it all you got to do is under base then do that extra screen but you're not charging you're only charging a two color print but that little extra mile really makes a difference No, but you did the right thing. You gave the money back and it's okay. You understand money is nothing, man. What you don't want is to escalate a problem that it, it could get even worse than that. But you did a good move, man. Just, I'll talk to you later and stay strong, man. Sorry to hear that, but you did the right thing. Later. Before we get to the story, I want to show you something. This video is sponsored by Printavo. Printavo is a management cloud-based software. Printavo will help you manage orders, handle scheduling, automation, and online stores. Regardless if you are a small or a big print shop, Printavo will help you streamline your business. One thing I just put Printavo was on the test last month with so many orders. It was so easy, wifey in the house, so she didn't have to keep calling me and telling me this, check the email, and the email, you get so many emails, you go, you get lost. Here, you know what you're gonna do today, you know what artists approved, you know who accepted the quote, you know who made the payments, and what order is next, and that's one thing I like about Printavo. So if, you go, if you're interested, go to Printavo.com, and Printavo is having a 50% off the first month by just using the promo code Taino. That's a pretty good deal. So if you're interested, go to Printavo.com and I wanna give a big thanks to Printavo for sponsoring today's video. Wow, man. Just talking to a friend of mine, he owns a screen printing, and he just went through a little issue where he had a client that wanted a print in the front and the print on the back. The print on the back is like a whole paragraph of words, you know? So what he did in the computer was he copied and pasted and then took it to Photoshop, expanded it, and print. There's no, he didn't type nothing and messed up the typing. So she says that proof to this client and she said, it's all good. But when she came to pick up the shirts, I'm talking about 300 shirts. They were like, there's some misspell there. You know, change it or I want my money back. You believe that? It's like, but you proofread everything like that. And they were like, mm -mm, nah. So what happens, like he's, he said, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna give you the money back. I'm not gonna reprint these 300 shirts. So they went to social media and they bashed them. You got all people coming in, talking, we'll do this to you, you, you are, you are not a, a businessman. You, oh my God, he got so much heat, man, that what he did was he reacted very quick, called the person, sent the money back, and that's it squashed it don't let something grow like that money is nothing man what you don't want is having issues and and people coming in your shop and want to threaten you and all that you don't want to deal with that man and that comes to a point that that's why you have to know who you're dealing with you got to try to read the client the best that you can because you want to deal with clients that you could be friends with but if you don't have no friendship, you don't really like, believe the way he, that person is and all that, mm, try not to deal with these um, people that, that are just going to come and going to give you issues. I try to avoid them. I try to read um, clients as much as I can. You know, I'm not going to turn them down, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a good price on you that's going to make you think about it. You got to pay for that extra part. You know, there's a lot of ways you could do that, but oh man, that is some scary stuff. the extra mile for your client. Here's a job I gotta do. I already did the front, white and black print on red t-shirts, and she sent me the list of the sponsors on back of the shirts. 
So what she sent me was a mock-up of it says sponsors on the top and just a list of all the names, all the businesses, just the words. So I didn't want to do that because it don't look right. Who's going to be looking back at the shirt and trying to read everyone? That it, the design just don't really look good when it comes to that. So what I did, the extra mile that we put was wifey came and started getting every name, going on Google and checking them out and getting their logo. And we were able to find all 24 um, businesses, their logo, took it here, um, Photoshop, vectorized all of them, and then just add them all up on the back and that is going the extra mile. It looks better than just those words there, man. Let me show you how it looks. Look at that. That is much better. See that? Much better than just having a list of names written down small, 24, that's a lot of names there. Don't look right. So that's going the extra mile. Now let me go real quick, set up the screen and print the shirts and see how it looks on the rest shirt. Let's do this. Oh, all right. Those shirts came out beautiful. Took the whole back of the shirt, all the logos in there, you know, all messed up like that real nice. It looks much better than a list of names. Come on, man. That's going the extra mile. Once I sent her the mock-up, she just loved it. And I went a little extra mile because she even asked for two more um, sponsors and I just had the film done already. And I said, you know what? Bring me the two sponsors, and then I did another film, but lucky, you know, I didn't get to expose at that moment, but now she feels like you're really going all out on your client, and that's how you start building a clientele when it comes to this game here. There's other little ways you could always go that little extra mile, like let's say you got some t-shirts, that you they want some gilding, but the Bella Canvas or any other one that's a little better um, than gilding is on sale. Your supplier has it on sale, why not? Even if it's 20 cents more a shirt, put it in there, especially for these first time clients. They're gonna see something better. They're gonna look at that print that looks better when it's printed on a better shirt. Plus another one is if you have time and it's like 30 shirts, let's say, or 40 shirts, if you got time, fold them individually. Fold them all in the box, put it out when she opens that box and all of them are folded with the t-shirt folder. Oh. That's another way of going the extra mile for your client. Separate you from the competitors. That's what you're looking for. A way to set because everybody screen prints. It's the same thing. You know, it doesn't matter if, if you got a one color press or so everybody using the same ink, everybody's, it's the same thing. You understand, especially when they send you the logo. But when you wanna separate yourself from them, it's these little things that you could do that a lot of screen printers are not doing. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be grateful always, be thankful always, and just let God take you on the ride. Peace out.